Hello everyone, welcome back to Hacking with Ken. So today we are going to be talking about reverse shells. Now you probably heard the term uh, like uh, shells and uh, reverse shells. So uh, you're probably wondering what the hell is reverse shell. So basically it's not that difficult. Reverse shell is basically like asking your victim to connect to you. Instead of um, you uh, going to scanning and hacking, you just uh, ask the victim to connect you. Now this is not easy as it sounds. It's really, really difficult. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that and why uh, you shouldn't uh, like, you know, just download anything from the internet. I'm going to show you why. Uh, this is a plus point also why you shouldn't download anything from the internet, especially the scripts, random scripts from GitHub or a random cracked uh, stuff from any website you shouldn't download you shouldn't be downloading that and i'm going to show you how so i have this um, ubuntu server of mine as we practiced uh, on linux administration i'm going to ssh into this machine okay i'm going to put password on it we are going to be using my ubuntu server as victim so basically i'm just going to control l and then i will press clear okay so now uh, we need to generate a reverse shell. We can do that. Why? We are going to be generating a bash reverse shell. Now, why bash? Because Linux uses bash. So, Linux uses bash language. Uh, you know, Linux uses bash scripting. So, we can easily create a reverse shell using a bash. Now, we don't know how to create one. So, we will let someone else do the dirty work for us. So, what i'm going to do is i'm going to visit a website called revshells.com now this is a website made by uh, ryan montegarmi and uh, some of his fellows i guess uh, but may mostly ryan montegarmi and uh, uh, as uh, some of you may know may not know he's an uh, entrepreneur and number one ethical hacker so and this is basically here we are i selected the theme uh, for me because i really liked it and uh, now we are going to be creating a reverse shell now for reverse shell you need to know your ip address okay and then you need to specify a port uh, which is not in use so basically now there are two things you can create a listener and you need to create a reverse shell you need to create a script that will go into your victim and you need to create a listener uh, a listener on your target uh, a listener on your machine uh, yourself and that script on your victim so now i'm going to show you first of all here we won't give the ip of our victim machine we will be giving the ip of our own machine of our self machine so uh, what will we do let's find out my ip address okay i'm going to control shift d and if config it's 192.168.100.9 okay we got the ip correctly now we need port uh, I use uh, mostly mis uh, I use mostly 4444 and you can use 4445 on any port you want uh, but it has to be four digit port so now uh, you can go ahead uh, and select the operating system you want to hack I, in my case it's Linux so I have the bash hyphen I uh, script ready to go so I'm just going to copy it okay now I'm first of all I won't do it I won't just copy and paste it on my Ubuntu server no I will first of all create a listener I will say hyphen LVP netcat I will be using netcat netcat hyphen LVP and I will type for uh, sorry 444 now netcat is a good listener it's a very good listener for reverse shells to be honest and you can use that you can utilize that uh, whenever you create a reverse shell, you can use this as a listener. It's very good, but there are other tools like Pawncat. Uh, they seem to be pretty much effective. You can use them too. I use Netcat because it's all, it's efficient and it's easy to use. Sometimes it's pain in uh, pain, but uh, sometimes it's really good. So here we go. It's listening any on port 80, uh, sorry, port A444 and uh, any request that will come on this port it will receive it so let's just go ahead back to our ubuntu server and let's paste this uh, just without so and as you can see script is running you won't see any output but if we go here we got the reverse shell we got uh, from 192.168.100.4 now uh, if i can see um, id okay id can cipher okay i want to know uname hyphen a 
where am I so I'm in Linux cipher machine I'm not in my Kali Linux I'm in my cipher machine Ubuntu server and that's why you should not download the scripts from the internet hold on hold on I'm going to show you why let's uh, close this okay uh, let's uh, control plus C and uh, I don't think a drop plus C works here anymore we just need to press enter uh, let's exit here and it exits the automatically so first of all let's create a rep dot sh okay and paste this and uh, now I save this and you know what I'm doing here uh, I'm doing something okay let's uh, assume you downloaded some script named rep.sh from a github website it told you that it's wi-fi hacking tool and it can literally hack wi-fi in one second and uh, just a little bit of stuff just with a little bit of uh, green screen you fell for it my guy and you just try to run it like dot rap dot sh now uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry about that i need to create a listener first uh, now let's say you create a, you ran that file you waited for hours nothing happened you said that maybe okay maybe uh, the script isn't running maybe it's something wrong with my operating system no my guy there's nothing wrong with your operating system and the guy gets this guy gets access into your PC and now this might not seem legit but here we go okay I have LS okay let's say if I can pawn into root if I can pawn into root, this will be it, to be honest. Okay, I can pawn into root. Uh, let me summon uh, a shell, Python 3 hyphen C, import pty, pty.spawn, um, okay, slash bin, slash bash. I could have run slash bin, slash bash, I just remembered, but here we go. I like to do the Python way, I uh, like it much easier. And now I'm root uh so um i just wanted to show you if you have weak passwords or stuff like that hacker can get into the root account now i have full control over your system i can view any file i can view any content i can view anything i can delete your entire linux okay that is why you shouldn't be downloading any script any random script from the internet so i don't think so you won't be downloading anything for now so let's exit here and let's exit let's exit let's just close the whole tab here um, because so uh, let's edit the script a little uh, i'm going to show you something i want to here let's just echo it and let's say echo uh, script start it okay for and now echo enter bssid uh, no no locating nearest wi-fi nearest wi-fi networks and let's say echo uh hold on hold on we got something we got something and echo hacking nearest wi-fi you will get password in uh two minutes let's say now let's run this script and this is my favorite part to be honest i was teaching a class and i did the same demonstration so now if i run it as you can see script started locating nearest wi-fi network hold on we got something and uh, i made a mistake in echo but uh, don't worry so hold on hold on we got something we are cracking uh, i i guess i need to write the script again so uh, this is not fun <laughs> this is not fun to be honest let's uh, clear the screen let's write it again and here we go uh, okay here we go i made a mistake here let me go and crack it this is echo and i think so we got it now okay now let's trust uh, run it let's create a listener and then boom skip started locating nearest wi-fi network hold on we got something hacking nearest wi-fi network you will get the password in two minutes and in two minutes i will be um reading these files i will be going into your etc slash pass wd directory uh okay sorry sorry it's a cat uh, it's file we need to cat it i will be copying these contents and if i'm lucky if i get the root i will be copying the contents of shadow which i can crack later using john the ripper then i can get access using the ssh so 
you seeing uh, you seeing what i'm showing you okay so don't download anything from the internet just because it said hack wi-fi in two minutes or hack social media accounts in two minutes this can happen okay so this is basically the power of reverse shells and i just shown you a little demonstration by a script so i wondered uh, why you get the free cracked apps because there are reverse shells in them mostly there are back doors and stuff like that so they get access into your system and they can steal every data they can see everything you do so my brother don't download the stuff so you just just because they look cool okay uh, um, use the uh, auth the how we call it use the uh, don't use the third party tools use the official ones okay and uh, for official ones, uh, CH made uh, um, CH made also a blog on uh, 100 plus hacking tools you can use for every field. I mean, there there are a lot of tools in Kali Linux. Why don't you use them? You just have to go through a little bit of hardships for hacking. But uh, I mean, they're literally the best tools out there. They are in the Kali Linux for a reason. They are the best in the field. So uh, if you want to hack Windows, you can select Windows too. Let's say you can just type in here because Netcat is, I think, already on Windows too. So if you want to do C Windows, you can, oh my God, you can create a whole C binary and TCP client and C sharp. Oh my God, this is literally dangerous. PHP, uh, Pentest Reverse Monkey Shell, it's my favorite to be honest. Yeah, I used to uh, literally uh, upload it to, my web, uh, to some websites and then get access to their system. PowerShell is literally good. PowerShell 2, PowerShell 3, PowerShell 4 with TLS handshake. Oh my god. And uh, Groovy script. And oh my god. The, Groovy is for Jenkins, to be honest. If you're wondering. Lua, Golang, Dart. Oh my god. And you can you can do that too. Shell, reverse shell, uh, bin bash. Uh, you can change that too. I didn't see that, to be honest. I'm just seeing it now. Uh, you can try it with different shells. Oh my god. There are a lot of options, to be honest. Let's try slash win slash bash. You can encode them too, like base 64 encoding and stuff like that. This is crazy, like for real, man. And uh, if you want different listener, you can do that to like, uh, in my case, if I want to do pawn cat, I can do that. If I have rust cat, there are a lot of uh, shells out there. If I have hawk shell, I can do that. So there you go. And uh, best thing is they can also create um, reverse shells for, you know, MSF Venom. So you can create your own payloads and stuff like that. So TCP, if I don't think there's an operating system full here, um, meter operator stage less reverse and there are a lot of things going on here. So you can try that. It works with Metasploit. So and there is Hawk shell too. You can do that. Hawk shell is pretty powerful. Uh, for hacking windows it's new in town and it's been doing a lot of crazy stuff and let's get back to dark theme because this theme is eating the memory so this is the basically the normal theme you will see and so yeah that's all for today and i hope you guys must have learned something today so this is all and i will see you guys in the next video